Hey guys, my name is Jeff, and have I got a cool one for you today. This is the 2026 Polestar Roadster, or Polestar 6. This is only the third time that this car has been unveiled to the public, and this specific car has been flown all over the world so that people could take a look at it, like Supercar Blondie, who actually made a video with this specific car, and now it's here back on tour as it's being taken around so people can check it out in person. Now, this car is still a clay model with some panels on it and some functional electronics and things like that. Not really a car that's meant to be touch-driven and messed with. With, so that's why it's protected with the bars here, but still super cool that they're bringing it around so you can take a look at it, but of course before it's unveiled in 2026, although pre-orders have already sold out, which we'll get into later. Uh, one of the internal jokes about this car is because of how much it's flown around, it's got more sky miles than most people that get to check out the car. So, let's get into it. This is the electric 2 plus 2 road going roadster based on the Polestar O2 concept, and the main focus is utilizing unique materials in construction to improve recyclability. Now, the Polestar 6 planned on having an onboard drone for pictures and videos, along with cameras for side and mirrors. We'll have to see how U.S. regulations feel about that. I believe the FAA has already shot down the drone thing, especially because here in the United States, you have to have licenses to fly it in certain areas and in certain conditions. So we'll see if there's any changes made for production. The Polestar 6 will use an 800-volt architecture and will be featured a dual-motor powertrain making about 884 horsepower with an estimated 0-60 to of 3.1 seconds and a top speed of 155 miles an hour, which is, of course, electronically limited. The estimated range should be over 300 miles. Now, if you're interested in this car and you like the recycled materials, the look, everything's very modern. We, of course, have a big electric dash in there that you can see uh, actually has some of the drone bits in it still, which, of course, like I said, is probably not going to make it to the U.S. production model it's probably going to be available in Europe and we'll just have to stare with jealousy as not getting that version same thing with the mirrors who knows if those could change if it'll be legal by 2026 we'll see one of the cool parts even is that there's a 2025 Polestar 5 um, that's supposed to be coming out the year before that has very similar styling to the 6 like you see here and speaking of styling I also feel like design language and just general theme really reminds me of the Polestar 1 which was actually a hybrid but this car of course is a full electric roadster now if you're interested in ordering these there's there's actually 500 slots of the LA Concept Edition. Unfortunately, they have all sold out. So if you can find somebody that gives up a slot, uh, you'd be looking at an estimated $200,000 a piece to purchase a Polestar 6. Now, there is a wait list still available. So if you wanted to sign up for that, Polestar would be more than happy to take your information down and put you on a list just in case somebody backs out. Now, as we move to the back of the car, you can see, of course, convertible. This little bar here in the back is actually the charging status, and you'll find it on both sides of the car, but that's one of those things that if you park it somewhere publicly and it's charging or you're at work or whatever, you don't have to necessarily get into the car and check all that stuff. You can kind of just take a glance at it and see where the charging status is of your car, which is kind of nice. I think as electric cars move further forward, people are figuring out better ways to make them more usable. And of course, not to mention the recyclability, because of the way aluminum, this is actually labeled in this car, so that way it can be disassembled. Same thing with the interior. It's mostly some new concepts that are probably subject to change, all for the sake of making it more recyclable. So that way there's a getting better and closer to that sort of zero impact with electric cars. So that's what they're moving for here. It'd be cool to see some of that technology make its way into some of the gas cars as well, because obviously that technology doesn't need to be limited to electric cars, but we'll see. So in the back here, this car also features a ton of new aerodynamic capabilities, and obviously that's going to help with some of the gas mileage too. It features a ton of air blades. You can see some of the body panels and how they separate. It's very subtle though. There's nothing that's overly boy racer-ish about that car, and I think that's one of the things I like. The yellow seatbelts, of course, a nice contrast. We now live in an age where everybody has customizable seatbelt colors, and then we got a set of 21-inch wheels around too, which, fun fact, this sitting on a set of Pirelli tires that I was told are actually made specific for this vehicle, but are not necessarily road-registered tires. They're just show tires. Fun fact for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, could hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it, and consider getting subscribed for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching.